A while back, I made an aircraft that could go 2,600 meters per second, and the video about that craft is my most viewed video to date. At the end of that video, I challenged people to make a faster plane, and a dude by the name of Blackbird00 made one that went 3,700 meters per second, a whole 1,100 meters per second faster than my plane. Aw, oh, crap! So now, I am obligated to make a faster plane. But before we get into it, please like and subscribe. I only have 153 subscribers, so it'd help out a lot if you did. Also, I should mention some rules for this challenge before we start. Blackbird00 and I set an arbitrary altitude limit of 25,000 meters. I won't be able to fly above that at any point in the mission, until after I reach the target speed. So, a re-entry method to this challenge won't be allowed. Also, cow overclocking, kraken drives, and other such exploits are not allowed. Anyways, let's launch. First, I use the lower stage engines to ascend vertically. I'm aiming for an apoapsis of just above 25,000 meters. Now, at roughly 17,000 meters, I begin to flip the vehicle over and start burning sideways. I am making constant small adjustments to keep the altitude just under 25,000 meters. Once the first stage runs out of fuel, I separate it and launch the next stage, which propels the vehicle to a speed of around 2,600 meters per second. Finally, I launched the last stage and prepared to reach the target speed of 4,484 meters per second. After the engines burn out, I separate the pharynx, which exposes the hundreds of separatrons underneath them. This creates a lot of drag and acts as an easy air brake. And there you go, 4,483 meters per second. Now, let's compare this aircraft to my previous aircraft. First, the biggest difference between my previous run and this run, altitude. On my old run, my last two brain cells thought it would be a great idea to attempt a speed record right near sea level, in the thickest parts of Kerbin's atmosphere. I'd completely thrown away the advantages of high altitude, such as increased engine efficiency and lower drag. The most simple yet most drastic optimization I made was to increase the altitude the plane flew at. Moving on, another major thing I improved was the amount of stages I have. The previous vehicle had two. This vehicle has four. The lower stage is a mammoth engine that brought the craft up to the target altitude and accelerated the vehicle to 1200 meters per second. The next stage is made up of a central vector engine section and four detachable boosters, also equipped with vector engines, attached to it, with fuel ducts running from the booster to the center section. This stage helped further accelerate the craft before launching the final stage. Now, the final stage is a bit strange. It doesn't use any normal liquid fuel rocket engines that you may expect, but rather, it uses hundreds of separatrons. For whatever reason, the separatron has the highest thrust to weight ratio of any solid fuel engine, which makes them great for applications like this. The biggest problem with extreme speed is that things tend to very rapidly explode when exposed to the airstream. To solve this problem, I've added a bunch of fairings to the front of the craft. It works like an ablative heat shield, with each fairing heating up, exploding, and revealing a fresh new fairing underneath it. This fairing heat shield helps protect the rest of the craft from overheating. And that's about everything you need to know about this aircraft. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. Recently, I hit 100 subscribers. I'd pretty much quit YouTube earlier, but after this, I might start making more videos, so stay tuned for that. Also, if anyone watching this can make a plane that goes faster than 4,484 meters per second, I would love to see what you come up with. Goodbye.